Hey there, everybody. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few on the channel. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host. And normally we're talking about building our small drone businesses, the tools we use beyond the drones, the software we use beyond the drones as well. And I am easing back into YouTube right now. So it's been a rough couple of months with some medical stuff. If you follow along with the channel, you're aware of it. And I have to say, I feel like I'm finally on the mend, so that's great. And that means I need to get back to work because I've got a backlog of ideas that have uh, been building up since last Christmas. And now that we're feeling a little better, we need to get to those things. A lot of the questions that I get are related to software and flight issues. And today I just wanted to talk quickly about doing before and afters and how I align my ortho mosaics for the before and after. So I've gotten this question over and over again over the past couple months based on another video that I had done previously. Right now we're looking at one of our client sites and we're looking at a before and after that we've created. And if I point at this down in the lower right hand corner, it says May 12th, 2024. And this one is April 21st, 2024. On this before and after, we can actually slide through and see some of the things that are going on. You can actually zoom on in here to see some of the changes in the buildings. So one of the big questions I've been getting is how to align two ortho mosaics. So I've already created two ortho mosaics for you here. And if you need to see that in a video, let me know. I do know that I've got a couple more videos here on channel going through the whole process, but I just wanted to do this one again to answer some of the more recent questions. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And I've got my before and after folder for you. So I used Metashape to generate each of these ortho mosaics. Okay, so I used Metashape. You could use WebODM. Uh, you could use Pix4D. You could use Drone Deploy. There's a lot of tools out there where you can generate ortho mosaics. One of the big things you need to keep in mind, whatever tool you're using, is that you're doing your exports in the same way. So this ortho TIFF right here is 36.9 megabytes, and the April one is 37.2. These are very close together, so these are probably gonna seam together nicely. I'm gonna highlight both of them real quick. We're gonna drag this down to Photoshop. And don't yell at me about Photoshop. I, I, I know I've been yelling about Adobe the past couple weeks myself um, with some of their changes and their end user license agreements. It's been quite an epic ride. Um, all right, so up here, we are looking at the April 21 right now. And over on the right hand side, I'm just gonna relabel this layer for myself. April 21, there we go. And I'm just gonna zoom back out here. The reason I'm not on screen is because I didn't wanna block any of this stuff. I wanted you to see all of it. So there's April 21st. Let's go up to the top and we're gonna switch tabs to June 9th. So we'll pull that one back. And I'm going to, once again, just for myself, let me see, this is June 9th for that layer. So let's see here. All right, they're both labeled. I'm gonna go back over to the April 21st. There it is, I've got that selected. And over on the right hand side, I'm gonna drag this, this uh, um, layer in. So let's pull back on this. I'm just dragging the layer on top of the June 9th layer. And now we've got two different layers and you can see right over here, April 21st, June 9th. All right, so I'm gonna by hand get them close and now I'm going to select both. So both layers I just selected with a shift. We're gonna zoom that back out. And if I go up to edit and jump down to auto align layers, I'm going to ask Photoshop to auto align the layers for us, okay. So now April 21st is on top and June 9th is below. So let's turn uh, April 21st off and you can see the changes here. If you didn't see the change, I'm gonna zoom in for you. Okay, we're zooming right in. And now we can actually see that area. Let's go ahead. And so we're showing ourselves June 9th. Let's click again. And now we're looking at April 21st. So do you see the major change here? Um, we've got this roof on and let's turn this off really quick. And now we've got the tiles going on. So let's turn this on again. I'm just gonna zoom in. So there we have the wood for the rooftop and zoom out. We're gonna turn April 21st off 
And now let's zoom in on June 9th, and sure enough, we have some major changes. So we have the two layers that we need. So all I need to do now is highlight one of the layers, go up to File, and I can do a Save As. And this is a TIFF file right now, but I can save this as a JPEG. When I do the export, when I do the Save As, I'm going to use the same settings for each of these. So I'll do an export April 21st. Uh, as a JPEG, and then I'll do a second export June 9th as a JPEG, and they're going to be all aligned. So once I'm done with this, I can feed it into um, our websites. So when we do the custom web pages for clients, I can drag both of these in. They're much smaller once we convert them to JPEG, because honestly, do you really want to put up a 37 meg image uh, on a website? No, probably not. And we're not taking measurements or doing anything here. We're just showing them the overall changes to the job site and our clients that are that we're doing this project for love these. So very simple. You're going to need to use one of those ortho mosaic modeling programs out there, um, whether it's WebODM, Metashape, Pix4D, whichever one it is. You're going to generate an ortho for one of your flights. And then when you go out to your next flight, you're going to generate uh, another uh, ortho for that one. You're going to overlay them in Photoshop, and you can do this in other programs as well, the overlays. I just happen to have Photoshop. And yes, I am as upset with Adobe as all the rest of you are. So we'll see how it plays out with Adobe. And in the meantime, we've been doing a little more testing again with Affinity Photo, because if Adobe is going down the path it looks like it's going down, it might be a ch time for change for us. All right, everybody. If you wanted to see the Ortho Mosaic come together, um, or the final exports and load up to our uh, custom web pages for our clients. Uh, you can see all that in our classes at uh, classes.azdrone.net or let me know here on YouTube and we'll see if we can put a longer one together. But there you go. So images easily aligned and then it's easy to output them for your final before and afters on the custom web page developer that you're using. All right, everybody, it's good to be back and hopefully we'll see more YouTube videos coming from here in the near future.